So that the, we have one, two, three, four, five more bids. And we, what? We won't let them ask. We, we, we're not actually going to ask questions of them. They're just going to do their presentations and then go sit down. Because we know that they'll mostly use the we don't know yet, yeah. it's too early, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> they just sort of picked a country sometimes if we're lucky. So, <laughs> so Renee Walling thinks he speaks something that sounds like French. The French don't think so. On the other hand, he's bringing me oh, wine, so. Yeah, all right, thank you. And merci. Thank you. Yeah, we, we, we. And I don't drink really, so I had like a tablespoon of my beer. Mike, Mike, you want the rest of my beer? It's good. Okay. Um, Renee Walling is representing France in 2023. So, bonsoir. So, I'm, uh, as that said, I'm representing France in 2023. Uh, some of you have probably heard about the bid before. Um, one of the things I'd like to point out is that uh, Spanish culture in France is rather different than in the US or the UK. And uh, when they decided to do this, they decided to do this, you know, one step at a time, the way we all kind of do. And bizarrely enough, that first step was to, you know, set up a not-for-profit corporation or the French equivalent, have a board, uh, go to various events in France, build up local support, um, and now they're they're starting to uh, get facilities. Um, and now, you know, we're at the, around that point, and soon they're going to start to show up at uh, various events uh, all over the place. So, France in 2023, uh, I mentioned they started to get facilities. In fact, um, the uh, plant location will be nice. Um, and uh, the plant location will be Nice. Uh, it's amazing we're capitalizing world, world food. So, um, Nice is a city in southern France, uh, very close to the Italian border. It's on the French Riviera. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely city. It is the second most, uh, second busiest airport in France. It's got connections to most major European cities, direct flights to it. It's got direct flights uh, to a few cities in North America, including New York and Montreal. Um, excuse me. Um, the chosen facilities is the Nice Acropolis Convention Center which is situated near downtown. Uh, what you see near the bottom there is the old town. Um, there's, uh, nice is a very big tourist area. The airport accommodates about 12 and a half million people a year. That's about 30,000 people a day. Um, and there's about 10,000 hotel rooms in the uh, city. Uh, 200 hotels or so, various sizes, qualities, etc. Many of which are very close to the convention center. Some are right across the street. Uh, some are a little further away. Um, but you know, uh, again, the hotels have not been picked yet, but the convention center has. Um, and uh, I mentioned that Nice is on the French Riviera, which in French is known as the Côte d'Azur, and uh, you can see why the ocean is lovely blue. Um, Monaco, Monaco, what? Monaco. 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 You were going to mention Monaco. Oh, well, no, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> you, you better get there quick. You've got 15 seconds. Okay, so um, the Acropolis, which is there, 400,000 square feet, uh, up to 50 meeting rooms, depending on configuration, five auditoriums, the largest one of which holds 2,500 in the audience. This is what it looks like. And uh, nice. Ah, okay. 